this is uh, one that I have made as a response to the government's response to Tiananmen Square, which is that it's a closed book. And then the middle piece is called, I call it consume or con me, which is that each who either shows consume in green, the color of money, or red con me. This is what what companies have to do to get you to consume. Thank you. No, I, no, no, there's a, but there's, they're like shackles, but the arm is rising up, so it's not totally pessimistic. No, I, I am curious about the, the book. So, okay. So is it? So you had, you're not supposed to open it. I mean, it's no. like it's banned or what? What? What's the? Concept? You can't read the story. You can't read the story because it's <laughs> it's about Tiananmen and they don't want to tell you anything about it. So they still can, haven't confirmed. Never, you can never read it. No. I mean, even if you look. But it's a beautiful thing, is it not? <laughs> History is a beautiful. But thing. I would always be wondering. I would always be wondering. What is this? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> And you Actually, there is something. <laughs> These images from old clip art books and then had them engraved. So these were all printed from plates. And then I wanted images that spoke to each other or contrasted with each other. And I was feeling particularly anti-Christmas at this time. <laughs> so. These are three of my paintings. It's part of a series. And I painted them all ever after a big trip to Southeast Asia, which I took about about two and three years ago. Um, and I, I was so inspired by the Buddhist people I met there and um, spent the night in a monastery and I was quite taken with uh, the serenity and spiritual nature of all the monks I met. So I brought photos home and I've been painting for two years from the photos I took, well, mostly in Myanmar, but also Thailand and Vietnam as well. And I'll probably continue to do that. These are all oils and medium mix. They're all pretty much monks or Buddhas or temples. Thank you for organizing. Uh, oh, okay. Well, you you know, it's really been a pleasure because the, the people here at Tabor Space are a wonderful little community and they're wanting to promote their coffee shop. So we've developed a partnership and we call it Art Space Meets Tabor Space. <laughs> it's really been fun working with these folks. Oil. They are oil paintings because uh, I like color. It shows. And I I love Georgia O'Keeffe paintings, so I was trying to uh, do some lily colors, some color lilies, yeah, and just do them a little bit differently than what she used to do because she's master. But I just love to, you know. I really like color and I love uh, flowers, and so I was painting this morning glory, and it's very gentle. And then I was painting some more colorful paintings, and they look really really good and you are far from them. They look real. I have orchids but not these. I have all purple or orchids. This is how I see them so this is how I paint them. After I retired as a graphic artist I started out working in watercolor and this is a watercolor. I like to do uh, nature type things the, the best I think and so particularly I did flowers a lot and then I tried to do something a little different with a different kind of background on a border to make it more interesting because they can get kind of tedious and repetitious. This is another watercolor of a nature scene in Oregon up in the mountains and I just love uh, this kind of scene. So this is one of my favorite locations. I painted from a photograph, yeah. But I was there. Yes, yes. And <laughs> but you, took, you took a photograph. Yes, yes, yes. And it was a very remote area. Uh -huh. I've just recently done uh, acrylics and, and this one's on camera. Canvas. I did uh, several uh, this size, and they were bought uh, by the Allison, that new uh, place down in Newburgh, that great big hotel spa. So they bought six of those. I'll probably get back to doing some more on canvas. It's, I enjoy that too. The series is different from what I normally do. These are, as you can see, small ornaments. They're polymer clay that I've sculpted onto wooden balls to make a type of ornament. The process is uh, somewhat laborious. After I sculpt them, I bake them and then I have to do some drilling and buffing and sanding before I do an airbrush paint for 
most of the base color and then I do hand painting for the detail. I designed this and uh, fortunately have a husband who's extremely crafty and he uh, built it for me because I wanted it to look like the trees. These are our dream catcher masks and I call them nature sprites because they have human features but they also have some non-human features such as in this case large pointed ears and scales on the top of the head. Um, and these are your joy drops? Joy drops is what I call them, yeah. Just to bring people a little bit of happiness at this time of year. I love this pig. Can I see that thing before you put it? I just don't have any place to put him. What, what is the that pig? Called? He's a bluebird of happiness. Wow. <laughs> like Gloria. Yeah. Gloria. I think Gloria. Gloria Curtis, I think, is her last name. That's under acrylic. Well, that's what I painted uh -huh. over the top. I didn't get anything submitted, but I'm really enjoying the show. It's a great show. Very nice space. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mary. No. How are you? About this one. Nice to see you here. Uh, Hi, I'm Margaret. Very good to meet you. He's part of our department. All right. Yay. Yay. Bravo. I come sporadic. You can see the beautiful art. Nothing of this show here. This is one of the best shows I've been to today. <laughs> I think I think it's it's really uh, artsy. It's also how come you're laughing, Jane? Because this is the only show he's been to. <laughs> <laughs> but it is the best. We bought art already. Yes, we've yeah. already purchased yeah. some art. We purchased some art. Is there some way you can get a tax deduction? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, such a big part. Uh, so these are from Italy. These are from Italy, and this these are summer in Italy, and it makes me want to go back there. It's so beautiful. What part of Italy? This this is the Cinque Terre. This is Vernazza. And this is down in southern Italy. I have the one you made in the kitchen. July. July. And these were just on the, on the trail. These were just yeah, Tabor space. It's beautiful. For the neighborhood. Yeah. For the neighborhood. For village practice. So we're inviting folks to bring their ideas and imagination of how they would like to share the space with uh, Mount Tabor Presbyterian Church. And for it to be a really relevant part of the neighborhood and people sharing yeah. life together. It's kind of cool. Uh, are you the art coordinator? Oh, yeah. I'm, yes, the coordinator for the, all the artists yeah. coming in and showing their work in the cafe. And also for the group show tonight. Yeah, it's been. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. It's good to have you here.